Well, Uber is this man. Award-winning star of films like Wolverine, X-Men, Les Miserables. He's played yeah. Peter Allen in Broadway's <laughs> The Boy From Oz and he's hosted the Oscars. In case you're wondering who we're talking about, you've been in a coma. It's Hugh Jackman, the ultimate triple threat. This year, we're going to see him sing, dance and act in his new stage show, Broadway to Oz. Hello, Hugh. G'day, guys. How are you? Triple threat, man. Triple like, <laughs> I'm like the If there was a quadruple threat, yeah, you'd be that too. Oh, thank you. What, you mean the washing up as well? Because I'm uh, very actually, good at washing up. Are you good at home? Terrible handyman. Mm. But good, good, with good. not bad in the kitchen. Mm. I had to cook and clean up from a young age. That was the, the deal in our household. But the handyman thing, not good. Like not hanging good. pictures, Deb has to phone not someone. Not good, yeah. Actually, Deb, we had Deb on the show and she said that you can't build anything from Ikea. Nothing. Terrible. And she can't. She has no patience for it. So, yeah, we did Ikea once. Actually, no, we went to Ikea recently, but... Yeah. Yeah, I love Ikea. That's good. I wish I was better at it. Yeah. Let's say, for example, there's a spider in the house. Yeah. Whose job is that? Oh, that's me. That's yeah. you? No problem. That's Snake all right. Snake spiders, you don't care? You know, I might <laughs> pause a snake in yeah. the house. That doesn't happen every day. Right. What about you? Uh, yeah. I, I don't mind snakes. Actually, yeah. I'm pretty good with spiders. What, a, what my, are you, Axel no, Rose? What my, are you, snakes? <laughs> yeah. My husband's a Kiwi, and so sp- he can't. He thinks spiders are the worst things in the world, whereas I, I'm not bad with spiders. Right. Yeah. 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 Same. But with yeah. all these genres, the, the triple threat business, so you can only do one talent. You've only got one talent left. So you've got, you know, you've got the acting, the singing, the dancing. Mm. What's the talent that you say, I'm going to stick with for the rest of my life? Oh, acting. I mean, the fact that I've been, been able to pull off that I'm a triple threat is pure acting. So. <laughs> <laughs> we fell for it. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, no, definitely acting is sort of where I began. However, I'm one of those guys, uh, I don't know if you know this, but when I was about 11, I was in a school concert dancing and the teacher pulled me aside and said, mate, you've got talent as a dancer and you should go and do classes. So I said to dad, you know, I, I want to enroll in some classes. And he said, fine. And my brother heard that. And he goes, oh, you sissy, yeah. you sissy. And so I was like, I was 11. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, oh, only sissies dance. And so I didn't. I'm the, I'm the anti Billy Elliot story. I actually really? didn't. And then when I was 18, we went to see, uh, my dad took me and my brother to see 42nd Street, big tap dancing musical. At interval, my brother came up to me and he said, I'm really sorry. I said, well, he goes, you should be up there doing that. And I, I remember years ago saying something to you and, and I was an idiot and you should do it. And so I signed up for Dean Perry's tap dancing class the next day. If he hadn't said so, that to you, yeah. and if you hadn't had that profound moment with him, would you have signed up the next day? I don't, probably not. I'd sort of forgotten about it. You'd like, just move on. And then I was like, yeah, I love that. And then... Such a great way to pick up girls. You go yeah. to the Sydney yeah. Dance Company do these drop off classes, right? You can go in four guys to like fifty girls. It's just fantastic. You're not and doing, you're the, you're not doing this now, though, are you? This yeah. is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deb. <laughs> no, but but anyway. So part of me would love to really like now. I'm really working harder and harder on my dancing. You know, before mm. I turn fifty, but I'm kind of coming late. I miss those kind of really key years. And what are you bench pressing now? Because you can like lift a mini moke. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's special effects in a movie. You no, know no. Them. Have you seen Hugh do the squats? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you do that those, Indian video. When you, <laughs> um, but what's so what? Because in a squat, you can lift. You know, you can lift like it's about. I do all right. Three hundred kilos or more. No, but yeah, close. No deadlift and squat. So I just joined what they call the thousand pound club. So you have one deadlift. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Matter. Yeah. No. It's just picking something off the ground, basically. Some one. Some or some yeah more than one. Like about three people, and then bench pressing and a squat. So you do one of each, and you have to make up to a thousand pounds. So I built up to that, got it. I don't. I think my bench press is about I don't know, hundred and forty kilos. Wow. Something like that. Okay. What's so it, well, can you just put that in a context? Is that like a fridge? A, no, is that no, a it's car? more than a fridge. A fridge, fridge would be about eighty kilos. Like a Hyundai. So it's car? really you're two fridges. Is it really? Is it eighty kilos? Fridge, fridge? would be eighty kilos. If this really? all falls away for you, you can be it's a house removalist. You true. can see how many fridges I've moved. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, because Deb's listening to this saying, "Well, you haven't moved the fridge. Yeah, haven't moved our fridge." <laughs> In your new show, I love that you've said your aim is just to stop your wife falling asleep. That yep. in 20 years of marriage, she'll nod off in every show. The only one, there's two. Boy From Oz, she didn't. Mm-hmm. And this show, which I did in New York, she didn't fall asleep. She came back, babe, I, lo- I didn't fall asleep once. <laughs> and to a lot of people, it's a low bar. And I was just like, yes. 
That was like a five star review. <laughs> At, at in Kate and Leopold, I'll never forget the premiere because Harvey Weinstein was producing it. He was behind us. Wake your wife up! It's oh, embarrassing. Oh, oh, so no. Debs. And Jeb's and Deb, you know, she got the big blonde hair, yes. and she's not. Yeah. It's like she's overacting. She's like <laughs> the head is bobbing like a bobblehead. It is all over the shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So she does. She falls asleep. So I, I've heard her say, "Oh my god, you got to go and see the show. It's fantastic." I like, "Babe, you slept through it." Yeah, but the bit I saw was great. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, just, that's... she says it's dark, it's warm, it's comfortable, I'm gone, it's you, over. You've said it's semi-autobiographical, what does that mean? Well, I don't want people to think oh, I'm on the couch, you know, giving you a life story, but it's definitely autobiographical. It's about my life, it's pre-showbiz, some of the first stuff I did, you know, at school, right through to sort of stories behind the scenes and what it was like being, I, I actually just found some footage. Someone sent me footage of me getting the part of Wolverine, like the moment they offered, offered it to me. And I didn't know someone was filming. And for 19 years, I didn't know this existed. So, you know, I'll share things like that and tell some really embarrassing stories about the Oscars yeah. and things that have happened in my life. And But the basic goal is I want people to have a party and I want them to feel like they're in my living room and just having a, a night with me, you know? Oh, so, and, then, yeah. and you could well go to sleep then, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so I go to that sleep. Would, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grab a beer. Yeah. Just, hey, just hang on just, a minute, Hugh. I know this I'm is off fascinating. To the give me, give me 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> give me 20, I'm going to the party. Before dunny. 20 is hard to take. <laughs> but beyond 20, I'm used to it. When it came to selecting <laughs> the music for this, did you also pick songs that you love from your teens or from your early years? Are they all big showstoppers? It's completely self-indulgent. Basically, mm -hmm. Every song, my rule is, as as it strikes up, as the orchestra plays, and by the way, 35-piece orchestra, which I'm so excited about, I have to, in my bones, go, oh, I love this song. Can't wait to sing this song. So it's, yes, there's stuff from Boy From Oz, there's stuff from Les Mis, there's stuff from the first time I sang in America, Carnegie Hall, Carousel, but then there's other sort of, some standards and Mac the Knife and some movie musical stuff and all the stuff I love, sometimes that I've wanted to be in, but or love that I, I don't want to do the whole show, I just want to do this bit, things like that. Because yeah. I was in Carousel, I, but I wanted to be Jigger. Jigger, great role. I, but yeah, they said, no, maybe. Oh. Well, it's a hopeless. Uh, <laughs> is Jigger the main person? Jigger's the bad, is a bad guy. But and he's he got like to smoke fun. on stage. Oh. This is back in the 80s. Happy days. And the character was in allowed, school? Yeah, the character was allowed to smoke on <laughs> stage. Turned up at the audition with yeah. the, the <laughs> Winnie, Winnie Blues. Yeah, Winnie yeah. The so was part of the, but I think I, I, I went too crazy on the smoking bit. <laughs> So I was like, you know, yeah. breaking a world record. But you did play it for a bit. I, well, no, I didn't get to do him. I, get to, I was just a, a backup dancer, and then I couldn't dance. And they said, we're just going to get you as one of the, the seamen in the background. <laughs> oh, this was professional? No, no, this is school. Oh, at school, right. Got it. <laughs> so okay. it with the smoking. With the seamen in the background. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hear you. Showbiz, you yeah. know. <laughs> were you in school productions, Hugh? Yeah, I did My Fair Lady at Knox. Uh, I was at Knox Grammar here yeah. in, in Sydney um, School. And How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. And the Music Man. Did you have so I actually do something from the Music Man, which was the first oh. thing I ever did. In your school uniform. That's I, I, a that's yeah. a nice. And the little shorts. Break. Come on. Shorts with a boater. Knox. We had a boater. Oh. Straw boater. Oh, yeah. What the hell were they? They don't even do that in England. You, you know, we were like more English than English. <laughs> you in a school uniform? I mean, ACDC is coming back to down. There could be some integration. Exactly. You and Angus. Special guests. <laughs> You know, you've got me thinking to get yeah. them on. You're not yeah. writing any of this down here. No, I'm not, These are golden suggestions. In here, mate. We can't wait to see Broadway to Oz, Hugh Jackman, live in concert. Ticks are on sale yeah. August the 31st, ticketech.com.au. They will sell out like hotcakes. Hugh, thank you mm. for joining us. My pleasure. Great to see you guys.